Wrestling is one of the most important sports in Mongolia. When the wrestlers enter the arena, they first uh, do a dance, one of many dances called the Eagle Dance, which is what you can see right here. They wear a very interesting uh, uniform where they are preparing to wrestle. They go out, they do another eagle dance, same as what they did when they entered the building. Spinning around and then slapping their thighs. Walk over and begin wrestling. There is no, uh, there are no weight categories. You basically wrestle with the person that you are given, and it doesn't matter if that person outweighs you by 60, 70 pounds, or if you're roughly equal. And basically everyone wrestles pretty much simultaneously and uh, they try to get out of each other's way if at all possible. Um, kicking is legal but uh, it's not uh, basically more like tripping than like what you would say karate kicking. So what you just saw there was possibly a takedown. Uh, and so as you can see there was a little dance there. But uh, as it turns out, um, because of the proximity to the table, the judge there in the blue uh, has decided that it was not actually a takedown. to the left, um, left side of the screen. Here we go with the takedown. And now one has, the one in the red has won. And there he goes over to do his eagle dance around the uh, stupa. And uh, he will go on to the next round of wrestling. And the one he defeated uh, is finished. The, the wrestling garment has a very uh, interesting history. Apparently, some long time ago, the, uh, there was a woman who participated in wrestling um, and uh, in a disguise and was a victor. She beat everyone. And when it was found out that she was a woman and she had wrestled, um, the officials of the sport decided that under no circumstances would there be women wrestling again and so they uh, put they gave the uh, the men um, these funny sleeve things which would uh, show very obviously that uh, a woman was wrestling here in the center of the screen, you may notice a very, very large man wrestling with a very, very thin man. And here's an example of what, uh, of the fact that there are no weight classes. You basically wrestle against the person that you're given. And sometimes the little guy wins and sometimes the big guy wins. It all depends.